hot girl summer is approaching, <laughs> which I've never used that expression before in my life, but somehow it just <laughs> flowed right out. Um, but how are you guys, I'm curious, like approaching dating differently this summer? Or are you not approaching dating differently this summer? Hurley, I want you to start. I wasn't planning on changing anything. You weren't planning seasonally. on changing anything? <laughs> Well, I feel like summer, like people come out to like play. There's like a lot more mingling. There's a lot more opportunity to meet people. Like the better weather, the warmer weather gets people outside. There's more events. I feel like it's, it's a a lot of people meet during the summertime. Mm. Yeah. No. I guess you could see that. Yeah, no. Like I'm definitely not meeting anybody on like December 19th in a nor'easter. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? But like, no, I, mean, I, agree. I, think, I agree. You know what I mean? I think my issue is that I'm just like, I can't be out and about because like, I, I basically live at the club. So like, mm. that's like my only really experience when it comes to meeting other people. And I feel like I don't necessarily want to be with the girls that go out to the club all the time. Yeah. You know what? We, we, we've talked about this before and it's been a while since you've given us an update. Have you had the same types of girls continue to kind of approach you or have you noticed any changes? And cause that was a problem for you before. It was just like girls kind of wanting to attach themselves to the DJ and like get behind the booth and like get their requests in. Right. And it was just girls that were going out all the time. You weren't super sure they were <laughs> eligible bachelorettes. Kinda, but I also feel like it's kind of the other way around in some cases too, where like, I guess just like, I'm not really as into them. I don't know if that's just because of the stigma I have against them. That might not even be true in the first Mm -hmm. place. But I, I think everyone that I've met, I haven't really wanted to do anything like long term with. Yeah. Because of the simple fact that they're in the club. I'm just not interested in their personality. Like I, I just don't think that we would connect. (laughs) I love this. So good. (laughs) I know. Wait, is I thought Jax was your (laughs) guest, right? (laughs) A lot of questions. A lot of questions in my direction. I'm so sorry. I just, I was just (laughs) trying to, yeah, we're all friends here. I was trying to open up the conversation. I was making sure that I understand. Um, No, I agree. You turn into their personalities. But like also like totally like you can apply that in anything. Like if you don't like pro athletes or you don't want that lifestyle, it's like the same thing. Yeah. Or like a finance guy who works all the time or, you know, a doctor who works weekends. Like it's the same thing. I think you can apply it. He's just like in the club. (laughs) 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 I mean, that's the toughest part about it when you're at the club too, with the music so loud, I'm really only judging the person off of their looks. Cause we can't even, we can't have a, like a conversation. you don't like their personalities. You just said. That's the problem. So I only, <laughs> no. I only meet them through their looks and then I find out what their personality is gotcha. like. And I'm like, mm, I don't really vibe with you much. What type of personality are you going for? Um, I don't know. Just like someone who likes to like do things, go out on like hikes and okay, just, I don't know. It's, it's. Oh. Well, if for like from what I'm hearing, it sounds like your work life is very um, exciting and like all over the place and like kind of has that party element to it. Mm-hmm. So when you think about your personal life and relationships, you want someone where it's maybe like a little bit more slower pace, like do things outside, not like having that um, opposite experiences to like ground you. not necessarily okay. i feel like the examples i'm thinking of it was like either they were like overly obsessed about me which kind of like sorry wow. not to toot my own horn no, i love that for you honestly like for you rightfully so rightfully so it kind of like turned me off though because i was like okay you were way too into this yeah. this mm-hmm. relationship than i am right now and like clearly i feel like strong. that's not a good sign if I'm not as into it as you are, it's yeah. going to be, it's going to feel like one sided to me. And then other people that's like, they're just like negative all the time. And they're just like, I don't know. No it's just like random. St- yeah. a lot of negative. There's very like there. specific things that kind of just like throw me off. Okay. Jax, back to you. You know oh what gosh. I always say about that though? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. sweat off of his face. <laughs> I got you. No, he's, he's right. Like, okay. No, so, I think that's, I, that, Great answers. Right? I was just curious. It's honest. We ha- we don't get to have Hurley chat that much uh, as often anymore. I so I, I like to bring him in. The people want updates. Mm-hmm. I think like uh, piggybacking what he said is like, 
something about one person can like completely turn you off and then the same person like next time will like do the same thing and you're like if you like them like you know what I mean? So like what I took totally. from that is he just probably hasn't met the right person. 1000%. There like I I think of it more of like quirks. Like if there's somebody that I'm really into for a whole host of other reasons and then somebody that I'm not really sure about but they have that like one thing that they do that's kind of like irks you. Yeah. There's concessions you're willing to make for certain people that you're not willing to for make sure. for others you know and what like i mean we, we definitely like wash red flags white like you oh, if you like them and you're just like oh it's fine but the same person if you don't like them you'll be like that's a red flag and 1, i'm like but you didn't say that about the previous person <laughs> you know we can make anything a red flag by the way or we can get any ick about anything mm -hmm. so i think it just matters like you know connection and like you know really just what are you willing? Everyone has red flags. If you didn't, it'd be weird. What's your biggest red flag? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> do Bad do relationship with their family. Yes, <gasps> that's a good one. Um, meaning no relationship or a strange relationship? Mm, I mean, I guess either. Either. What if they've distanced themselves because oh, for a reason mm -hmm. yeah i guess so that would be the exception but for the most part if someone's not close with their family that would be a pause uh, well for you. i think you mean like fam like you have like family relationships like if they're close with like i don't know maybe i think maybe like the drama that surrounds it or something like i don't know maybe like if you're close with like your sister or something but you're not close like that can that's fine as long as you have like that family like or maybe they want a family, like it, they have to have those like values. Mm -hmm. But I think the relationships can be like, it's tough. I Right, you can't have the same, I mean, everybody's an individual. So your yeah. relationship with one person yeah. may not be the same the as somebody else. The values around it for sure, that's what I, I agree. Yeah, is that what you would say? Is yeah. that what you meant? Yeah. I would also say lack of like a passion or hobby for something. Mm. Now, I don't know if that's a red flag, but I just feel like that's like, that's yeah. something I'm into. Like, you got to have your own life. I completely agree. I, I would say that's probably one of my biggest turnoffs, I would say. More of a turnoff than, like, a red flag. I feel like red flag gets associated with, like, they're a toxic person yeah. or they're, you know, not a good person. Right. Um, and I don't think that that's necessarily that. But for me, like, I to somebody who's too complacent and like doesn't have their own little side hustle, their own thing that they like to do for themselves. I want somebody who like challenges me and pushes me and like we grow together. And if somebody's just chilling, that's not attractive to me yeah, at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I And like, I don't care if it's literally like you like to crochet on the side. Like I literally yeah. don't care what it is. It can be yeah. anything. It just has to be something that you do for you that you enjoy. You don't have to mo try to monetize it. It's not like to be, you know, the next big thing in a certain space, mm -hmm. but having that thing that you enjoy doing for you and not someone who just like clocks in, clocks out and just tries to get by in their life. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's... No, that's not attractive. I think I would say like that's my biggest. Um, yeah, I guess it's not really a red flag, but like my biggest like. Eh. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you wouldn't. Yeah, you wouldn't go on a date. Um, what has been your biggest challenge in dating in the last six or seven months? Like, where are your experiences or the guys you've dated been falling short? Oh, there's you know there's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> They're great guys. Um. I have a problem with like connecting with people or mm -hmm. like being like just kind of thinking the same way, you know, yeah. like just being like, oh, you're like almost like going into it as like, would we be friends, you know, mm -hmm. like and I think I have a problem like finding that connection. I think that's so rare. Yeah. So and I won't I don't want anything less than that. So it's a pretty high standard. I've had it. You know, I know it's out there. Of course. But it's rare so if they don't do that then you know i i'm just I'm, so it's not like that it's i have the time to date and even though i have no time to date everyone has time to date yeah they're lying if they say they're not people make time for the things that they want to do 100 if i met someone tomorrow i would make it work you know and so would they mm -hmm. but 
I don't know. Honestly, just like not being like cool enough <laughs> or like, <laughs> like nobody has style in Boston. No one does cool things, you know, like they, <laughs> for being honest, you're just not cool enough. You're not. Let's use the word interesting. Cool sounds cool. kind of high school. You're not cool. Okay, you're not cool. <laughs> They're just not cool. No, like I think really? like Help me out they here. could be interesting in their own ways, but like, I don't know. Being cool with like things, like not letting things bother them. Like, you know, people need to be more malleable, I think. Like everyone mm -hmm. is like, do you fit my, you know, puzzle piece? Like, no, like let's be cool. Like let's make this, you know, kind of more of a, you have to... I don't know, be a little like, bit cooler. It's not about, yes, they don't dress like most people. <laughs> you know, we can fix that. Just being cool personality. I mean, being chill, like not having, being set in your ways, I think is huge for me. Yeah. Like if people stop evolving and stuff and like you can see that or they're not like self-aware, like that bothers me. Mm -hmm. I'm a very open-minded person. I don't want to be judged. Um that, that bothers me. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And I think that's why like the having that one thing or multiple things or whatever on the side is important for me because I, and like not, not having that complacency. Like I want somebody who interests are gonna change and evolve over the years, their passions, their priorities, yeah. like someone who is just this like ever transforming type of person because I think that that's what life's all about. But I also agree with you. We have to understand that, you know, I'm trying to date you just as much as you're trying to date me. And so it's not, I think sometimes people look at it like, oh, does this person check all my boxes? Did they have mm -hmm. everything that I'm looking for? And it's a two way street. It's not about just having someone, you know, cut and copied and pasted into your yeah. life. It's the merging of the two and how you guys balance and complement each other. So if someone's just like unwilling to change and super fixated, right. that's never gonna work. I mean, a relationship's all about compromise. Yeah like my the biggest thing I realized about dating this year is like I don't have like boxes anymore I don't have red flags I don't have even a type I just like let it roll <laughs> and like it because when you look back to all my successful relationships uh -huh. it just happens I could do something really dumb or could dress the wrong way or could be having a bad week and I still went on that date and it still worked out yeah. it's always going to work out if it's supposed to work out and you shouldn't have to try like so sometimes I'm like oh like I wish I had my nails done for this date or something I'm like you think he gives a fuck about my nail color <laughs> you know that's not the color I want him to see me like the first time it's going to work so taking the pressure off and every time that I've had a successful relationship it's always like n it was indestructible it could it, n it was going to happen yeah you know we both wanted it so it's kind of, I've been hands off, you know? I don't look for certain things anymore. I don't look for not, like, I don't not look for certain things. Like, it's like, it's just, I just let it roll, you know? Cause yeah. you can't control it. A feeling. Mm -hmm. Hurley, do guys look at girls' nails color? No. What color are my nails right now? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> you tried to look at the monitor, black. I don't know, I thought Literally, they'd match your shirt. my nails are light pink. <laughs> Oh, um, like they always are, but okay. So that's not something guys notice. What is one thing that girls may not expect, but guys pay attention to? Hmm. Like, are you looking at anything that we would wear? The is like the way that we style our hair, makeup. Is it anything appearance wise, or? I feel like it depends on depends on the guy. Because I feel like yeah. every guy has like their own kind of interests, hair color. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. I don't know. Fashion. The way yes. They dress, yeah. Yeah. And I yeah I was gonna say I feel like guys have very different opinions when it comes to clothing. Like some guys are very I, set on like uh, the girl being conservative in the way that she dresses because it kind of denotes that she'll be like more family oriented. Like that's a wifey type where like a girl will like want to dress like sexy and then it'll make them think that she's not, you know what I mean? Oh, I mean, unless Isn't that's that... subconscious, I don't, I haven't never really made that association. Well, I feel like as, especially as I've gotten older, when I have conversations with my guy friends, like they, I've heard people say things like, 
you know, she shouldn't be coming with like her boobs out on the first date or like, you know, don't wear like this uh, little yeah. mini skirt, well, this mini dress. And sometimes like we wear it because we feel good and we feel confident, like showing off a little skin or whatever, but actually it's like giving the wrong message to mm, the guy. I could see that. You know? Yeah. I think, yeah. Well, I think guys like will take wrong messages. Like, <laughs> you know, they'll be like, well, she had her shirt on. <laughs> Like, you know, she was wearing a corset, you know? Yeah, she I just clearly think it's not wanted that serious. Me. <laughs> yeah. But I think I never dress really sexy on a first date. No. I think it always pays off because mystery is key <laughs> with everything. Mm -hmm. But um, men love when a girl dresses like sophisticated and yeah. classy. They say classy. It just means elegant <laughs> or like, you know, that they're not, I, but also I always have one piece of like skin showing. So whether it's my legs versus my top, never have two pieces, like sections yes. of skin. I would wear this on a first date. Like yeah. I'd come from work, you know, it's whatever. I, but yeah, I always have my hair down. I have like, like kind of these things that I like for my own self where I feel most confident Cause I get really anxious. Like, yeah, I think that's all that it comes down to. It's just like wearing what you feel yeah. confident in. Yeah. And not dressing for yourself rather than trying to dress for the yeah. male gaze. Yeah. So do the, like, don't, <laughs> don't give them anything gaze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah.